Hey everybody, I'm Ethan. And I'm Jesse. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Medicu Cybertrack 100. Next on Now Let's Review. Before we get started, just want to let you know that Medicu did send us this bike for review, but that does not affect the way that we review it. Everything that we're going to be talking about today is based on our experiences and our thoughts and opinions of this bike. The first thing worth mentioning about the Medicu Cybertrack 100 is the size. This bike is small and feels closer to a kid's size bike than to something the average adult can ride comfortably. The one thing that did kind of stand out to me was that it, it just seems a little small. Yeah, it is kind of small. So I'm not a particularly tall person. I'm 5'9", but even for me, when I rode this bike, I was like, okay, this is smaller than a bike I would like to ride. It's like almost in between a kid size bike and a full size bike for adults. Um, I don't know what they were aiming for specifically with the size of this bike, but yeah, it's definitely smaller than you would expect for a bike. This one's fine. It's, mm -hmm. it's a, a good weight. Yeah, it's 46 pounds, so it's not too hard to lift and to put on a bike rack especially for all of the feature set that you get. The build quality is decent. Many of the parts feel on the cheaper side, such as the plastic handlebar grips, but overall, the bike is all right. It features a seven-speed Shimano shifter, front suspension, and mechanical disc brakes on the front and back wheels. The suspension is not the best and doesn't have a huge amount of travel, but it's certainly better than having no suspension at all. The disc brakes provide decent stopping power, but they will likely need some adjustment. On the left handlebar is a display unit that shows speed, pedal assist level, odometer, trip distance, and battery level. The readout is simple and easy to see during the day, and the buttons are clearly marked and easy to use. The pedal assist is from a 350 watt hub motor on the rear wheel, and it actually delivers a decent amount of power. It is by no means exciting or impressive in terms of acceleration or speed, but it gets the job done. The pedal assist is cadence sensing, so the engagement and disengagement aren't super smooth, but for the price, it's fine. There is also a half twist throttle on the right handlebar to control the motor, and it offers smooth and controllable power delivery. The Cybertrack 100 has a top speed of around 20 miles per hour, and I've managed to get it just slightly above that according to the speedometer on the screen. The 375 watt hour battery can charge in as little as three hours and gives the bike a claimed range of 30 plus miles on a charge. I tested the range using a mix of throttle and pedal assist on the road and on some trails, and I managed to get 26 miles out of it. One thing I will say is that the front tire seems to loosen up when I ride it over like roots and rocks and I'll just like look down and see that it's like leaning diagonally, which is obviously a problem. So mm. I have to stop frequently and readjust that. I don't know why I'm bolting the axle down as tightly as I can and still managing to move. Also the battery, like it's not locked right now because it doesn't really lock into place. It kind of just sits here. I haven't actually managed to get it to fully lock in, hmm. but I mean, it still stays on like when you're riding, I haven't had it slide off and like turn off the power to the bike, but it's just these little couple things here that are, make me a little worried about the build quality. But overall, I think it is a pretty decent bike. Yeah, I mean, overall, I like the looks. It looks very approachable, mm -hmm. something that I could definitely wrap my head around. Yeah, for sure. And I agree. I do actually like the looks of this bike quite a bit. Honestly, overall, as a bike that you use to ride around the neighborhood, like even if you, you could commute on this, it's fine. This bike will get you where you want to go. It's not really like a mountain bike like they say it is on the website, <laughs> but I mean, you know what? Just don't actually take it downhill riding because it will not survive. All right, Ethan, let's let's talk about the brass tax of it. How much does the Cybertrack 100 cost? So it is $700 as of writing this review. Okay. I think that that's maybe a little, little bit too much for this bike. And I'll explain why. Because you can get something like the Aerial Rideal, which is a really nice bike. We've tested that out. You can check out a review on that for just under a thousand dollars so a couple hundred dollars more for a bike that is really well made a really nice bike overall i think would be a fantastic choice so to have this only be a couple hundred dollars less and be smaller and not as well made i feel like there should just be a little bit more of a difference between the prices of those two bikes but overall i think you won't necessarily be disappointed with this bike if you spend the 700 dollars on it yeah i think that it is a good budget option i think that if you're just looking for something to kind of get you around or a starter e-bike this is definitely a good option overall i think that pretty well priced mm -hmm. um 
But obviously, yeah, if you're willing to spend more, you're gonna get better options. But where it sits is pretty decent. All right, well, that was our review of the Medicu Cybertrack 100. Uh, let us know what you think about it in the comments down below and let us know what other kind of bikes you're interested in us reviewing. Um, I know that there are so many on the market right now. That's kind of why we have to do this. Mm -hmm. We have to figure out what's good, what's bad, what's well-priced, what's overpriced. Um, and you can find more of that stuff by hitting the subscribe button and hitting the little bell. Hoops to jump through, isn't that so fun? Thank you, YouTube. But uh, anyway, we'll see you next week. Now, now let's review. review.